Hi everyone, welcome back to Mr. Free Hugs. I'm Chris, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys this classic Disney Aladdin doll from JCPenney for the retail price of $15. So I will be giving you guys a adult collector review, and I will show you guys how to unbox this doll and how to rebox. So here is the front of the box. And as you can see, this is also not a real Disney Store doll because there's no Disney logo at the top. Here's the top of the box. Here's the sides. And here is the back. It says Aladdin is a Disney princess. And this is the price that I paid. And this is the bottom of the box. It says please recycle. So I do want to start off by removing as much of the clear tape as possible. Especially because this box is just a regular rectangular box. There is one piece of tape here. And there is one piece of tape here. And then two pieces on each side right here. And so I don't rip the paperboard. I'm going to peel the tape on this half uh, this way. And then I'm going to peel the tape on this half that way upwards because I don't want to rip this paperboard. For this piece of tape I'm going to peel this tape this way and then on this side I'm going to peel it upwards. Same with this side and same with the bottom. Alright so I removed all the clear tape and the reason I do that is because I don't want that clear tape to dry up and like rot. So I just remove that as soon as I get the doll. So now I always open the boxes from the bottom. And because there's these two extra tabs right here on the sides, you do want to be careful when you're opening it or else you could rip the paperboard. And there we go, now that camera's focused. There's these two little tabs right here, you see? You kind of have to like push that out. I want to try to do this on camera so that you can see how difficult it is. You kind of have to shimmy open the paperboard. You have to push this lid like inwards to toward the box and then push this outwards towards you. Okay, got one side. Okay, there we go. So it is a little bit of a struggle, but you have to be really careful because you don't want to rip the paperboard and make the box look ugly because I want to keep the box so that I can display the doll. Okay, now he's out of the box. I have to do everything with one hand because I'm using my phone and I am filming in my car and I apologize but it's the only place that is quiet. However, there's this plastic cable around his hand, his right hand, that I will cut. And then there's this plastic fastener on his left hand that's attached with an elastic. Okay, so it looks like there's like bendy wire around his neck. He doesn't have any plastic tabs in his head. And he also has a bendy wire around his waist. Here's the back of the box. So I want to remove all of this clear tape first. And it's okay if you rip the paperboard a little bit in the back because no one's going to see it. As you can see, I did that very carefully, and it's still ripped. 
and slowly take it off. Here's the plastic fastener holding his head. I'm gonna take it out from inside of the box. And there it is. I'm gonna throw that away. And then there's these, this plastic fastener for his hands. Holding in to his hand with an elastic. Okay, I'm going to throw that away, and then this plastic cable around his right arm I'm going to cut. So I untwisted this cable here, which was a little bit different, difficult because it was wrapped up so many times. But here's the little plastic, and that's just to help the paperboard not rip from how tight this bendy wire is around the waist so that it doesn't uh, rip the paperboard right here and make the holes larger so you do want to keep this okay it turns out that I do need to cut these cables around his ankles because they're held in too tight and that's fine because since this is a male doll he only really needs to be held in at the waist and he's very uh, heavy and sturdy so he could stand up without falling over unlike the female dolls. You do want to try to keep these ankle cables in if it was a female doll because you want the doll to stay in place in the box when you're displaying her. So you can see his pants have velcro. His underwear is like a light beige color or a cream color and the fabric is nice quality it's uh, pretty soft and his um, pants have a little bit of elastic here at his ankles and his vest feels nice nicely made it feels nice and soft so here's a made in china tag on his vest it doesn't say disney on it so it's probably not real but the t vest is nicely done the inside of his vest is like a different shade of purple than the outside the outside is like a true purple and then on the inside it's slightly more blue or grayish kind of purple but again the vest is lined inside so it looks really nicely done and the vest is like made out of this very shiny type of uh, synthetic silk or polyester or actually satin I want to say and here is his little cummerbund or little belt that's attached to his pants. On the back, he has some kind of little bit of markings. And then down here, it says Disney China. The body is nice and, nice and sturdy, good plastic. It's uh, the same body as Kristoff that I just reviewed. His head is squishy vinyl. His hair is nicely sculpted and it's painted nicely. And here is his face. This camera does not want to focus. 
He is completely articulated just like Kristoff. that this portion of his arm is like softer it's flexible vinyl I think the top portion of his arm is also like the soft vinyl but then his torso is like hard plastic he has bend and snap knees here is his little bit of patchwork on his pants and they're not printed on which is nice because I thought they were there's actually like stitching and it's embroidered on to his pants. So his arms are a little bit loose in the articulation, just like Kristoff's, which is why I don't like articulated dolls. But um, in this doll's case, I think it's fine because at least the doll is made out of nice and sturdy plastic and vinyl. So I'm putting Aladdin back into his box and I remember that the two holes that the wire go through is on the ends right here. Alright, so here's Aladdin back into his box. I did put the plastic uh, bendy wire around his neck. There's one at his waist. And everything else is removed from the packaging. Even the plastic cables around his ankles. So all I need to do now is get out of this car and take him home and kind of clean him up. So here is my other JC Penny Disney doll, Jasmine. And I think she is a real Disney doll because she does have the manufacturing stamp on her back saying that she's from London. You can see she has glitter on her outfit. And this doll also has high heeled feet. And she has the straight non articulated arms. Her necklace is a piece of fabric. Her earrings are removable and they can fit Barbie and other 11 and a half inch dolls. And she has a bead or rhinestone that is sewn on to her top. And here is her face. And this doll also cost $15. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? But when I'm way up here, it's crystal clear that now I'm in a whole new world with you. Now I'm really happy that Jasmine has her Aladdin. If you guys have any questions or comments about the dolls, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you. I hope you guys take care and I'll see you in my next video.